What's good, people? Welcome back to our channel. Whew, this has been a this has been a long trip, but it's been so nice, and like I'm so excited that we had the chance to come out here and visit family and just enjoy. It's not every day that you get a chance to go out of the country. So the fact that I was able to go and to bring my kids with me is like amazing. And I feel so happy that I was able to come out here and see my sister and my babies, my nieces and my nephews. So this was an amazing trip. So today is our last day, our last full day being here in Rhoda. Um, tomorrow, well actually, yeah, tomorrow we're headed to Sevilla because that's where we fly out going into Barcelona. So we're gonna explore Sevilla before we head out because my our plane is doesn't leave until like 11 o'clock at night, 11 p.m. So we pretty much is gonna spend the whole day out there in Sevilla, um, just exploring and seeing the cathedrals and things like that. So today's our last official day here in Rota, Spain. So it's been such a beautiful trip. It really has been, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. I know the kids are going to remember this for a lifetime, so it's been a blessing to be able to come here. So, today, on the agenda, on the agenda, because I'm not going to lie, I miss my bed, I miss my house. I'm like, I hit that, I hit that point, like, oh, this has been amazing, but I'm tired, and I'm ready to go back home. And I'm like, we have like two days worth of travel ahead of us, because I've, I like, decided to take the longest layovers like it sounded like a good idea at the time but now i'm like oh god so yeah we have a long couple of trips two days we're not gonna make it back home until sunday we're leaving officially out tomorrow which is friday so we have a whole 12 hours in sevilla, sevilla. then we fly into barcelona well no i'm sorry we're gonna get to Sevilla. We don't fly out till 11 o'clock at night. Then we have a whole 12 hours in Barcelona layover. And then from Barcelona, we're going to New York. And we have a whole 19 hour layover in New York before we make it back to Phoenix. So yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a long trip. But anyways, anywho, I digress. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be, we're gonna explore. So it is what it is at this point. But um, today, the kids are still asleep. They're not going to wake up until late, so I'm about to just clean up the dishes that we made and then start washing our clothes. We got like a whole load of clothes that need to be washed, get myself showered and ready, and then I'm going to, I'm waiting on my sister to come back so I can make breakfast, um, and that's it. We're just going to be chilling today, getting everything together, getting ready for these long travels and trying to figure out how we're going to pack our bags because we have acquired some things since we came out here. So we're gonna have to move our bags around, make some space, shove some stuff in bags, so on and so forth. So yeah, that's where we're at today. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, help our channel grow. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. <laughs> Past couple of days it's been crazy windy. 
So yeah, these like, when we first came out here the first day, it rained for like that first two days. And then after that, it's been so windy, like crazy windy. So it kind of like got in the way because you really can't do too much. Like we went places, but like when we went to like Cadiz the other day, we couldn't go all the way up to the top of the cathedral and see like over the city because it was windy. So they closed it down. Um, we wanted to go on a ferry, but we couldn't even find the ferry first off. And then when uh, the taxi, cause out here they don't have Uber or anything. They just have taxis. So the taxi driver said because it was so windy, they closed down the ferry. Like the wind just got all in the way. So, we, I mean, we still had a great trip, but still, still. So these past two days, I noticed like yesterday, it really wasn't that windy. And then today it's like, it's a, it's a little breeze coming through, but it's not like how it's been. So hopefully tomorrow it's still like light wind. And maybe I can convince my sister before we leave to go back to Cadiz. Cause I really want to see the top of the cathedral. I'm not even lying. I want to go. So yeah, everybody's gone. Like my sister and the kids, they went back to their normal life. The kids had to go to school this morning. So they went to school. Um, she goes to work later on today. And then um, her and the baby went and ran errands and all that good stuff. Like they're getting back to their normal, normal life. And as you guys can see, my kids is knocked out dead to the world. They're going to be like that for another couple of hours. And I just washed the clothes. I'm about to go do the dishes. And because there's not really much dishes in there. I made the kids get up and do that yesterday. But I must just finish washing the clothes and just organizing our stuff. Um, we did get quite a few things, like not a lot, but like we did grab some souvenirs here and there. So I got to figure out a way to like bedangle that inside of our luggage because even though we have long layovers, like I still want to explore and I don't want to be walking around carrying luggage. So we're going to check our bags in Cadiz. And then, um, I mean, in Barcelona, we're going to check our bags and then we're going to check our bags going into New York so that we don't have to worry about carrying luggage around. Yeah, I just got to figure out how I'm going to do my luggage. Cause it felt like we came with so much more stuff and that's only because like our bag was full of snacks and i don't know i'm like did we lose stuff along the way like i don't know but it just seemed like our bags just got lighter every flight good thing or bad thing i don't know it is what it is if we lost something then we just lost something hopefully we didn't but who knows and like we have a lot of stuff but i'm pretty sure if i just lay off of some of the things and like fold or bags a certain way i could fit more things in there so it's gonna be a jigsaw puzzle all them years of playing tetris is gonna pay off today <laughs> anyways but yeah i'm just chilling like i said it's nothing much happening today we just chilling when the girls when the girls get back from school i was gonna cook dinner tonight since my sister's going to work tonight um we're just gonna cook and chill so that's it that's it that's all I'm like enjoying this breeze. It does feel good. It's not, yeah, it was been crazy the past couple of days, so it's not so bad. But it is nice out here. It's like so quiet out here. Like, I swear to God, it's so quiet. Like, you can walk down the street and not hear nobody. And that's not even only on the naval base. That's like, even when you go out and like explore Rhoda, the city, like the little town, whatever this thing is, like quiet, crickets. You don't hear nobody, you don't see nobody. You see people every now and then walking up and down the street, but like when you go through the neighborhoods, it's like nothing, crickets. So that's it, that's all. That was our trip to Rhoda, Spain. This has been an awesome trip. I'm so happy that I had the opportunity to make this happen. I'm so grateful. I just love it. But yeah, I'll get back in with you. I'll hit back up with you guys in a bit. <laughs> What are you doing? Where's Scarlett and, and your friend at? You just made a fort all by yourself? They're not doing anything. They're not doing nothing? Look at this fort. He really did. 
Okay. Are you guys having fun? Y'all look really bored. Y'all ready to go? Uh -huh. You ready? You can do it. I'm shaking so much. Plank, 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 plank. You got it. You can do it, Danae.